Hi everybody, welcome back. This time in the motion chapter, I am going to discuss about the motion of the ball in an inclined plane. How do the motion of the ball takes place in an inclined plane? We will be discussed in this session. First of all, we all having a doubt, what is nothing but an inclined plane? So you can see this one, the one which is having a slope is called as inclined plane. Inclined plane. The one which is having a slope is called as nothing but an inclined plane. We can take the inclined plane here. In this inclined plane, suppose if you take a ball on top of this position and take it as t equal to 0 seconds, at the time of 0 seconds, you are taking the ball at the top of this inclined plane and leaving the ball, it reaches to certain point. At this point, maybe the time t equal to 1 second. It reaches to the other point, maybe the time equal to 2 seconds. It reaches to the bottom, time equal to 3 seconds. What is this point here? So the time taken by the body is 1 second, but it has travelled nothing but a lesser distance here. So, for another second, it has travelled more distance. For another second, it has travelled more distance than nothing but a earlier. What is this meaning? Once the ball is getting down, its speed is increasing. Because of that, it is covering more distance. So, let's see that. What is the path of the ball? The path of the ball is falling down. What is the path of the ball? The path of the ball is... falling downwards what is the speed of the ball the speed of the ball is increasing or decreasing the speed of the ball is increasing because it is covering more distance when it is falling down so the speed of the ball is increasing Let's observe the same case from the bottom of the inclined plane. Let's take this one, the bottom of the inclined plane. You can take an inclined plane. And now you are pushing the ball from the bottom, the initial position from the bottom. Here you left the ball, here you have to apply some force and push the ball from the bottom of the inclined plane to the top of the inclined plane. So, for t equal to 0 seconds, it travels to it is at the bottom of the inclined plane. For t equal to 2 seconds, sorry, t equal to 1 second, it travels certain position. t equal to 2 seconds, t equal to 1 second, it travels certain position, maybe greater than this, we can take that one. t equal to 1 second, it has travelled up to here. Because you applied some force, it reaches to higher distance. Next, t equal to 2 seconds, it may travel up to here. t equal to 3 seconds from the top. Now you observe this one. Whenever you push, there is more force. So due to that one, it travel more distance in the first second. In the second second, the force is decreasing. It travel lesser distance. Third second, more lesser than that. Basing on this point, what could we say that Actually, what is the path of the ball? In this case, the path of the ball is moving upwards. What is the path of the ball in the second case? The path of the ball is moving upwards. The path of the ball is upwards. What is the speed of the ball? Let's see that one. The speed of the ball is increasing or decreasing? So once is the time the ball is reaching to the up, the speed of the ball is decreasing because the distance it covered for one second is decreasing. So we can say that the speed of the ball is the speed of the ball is decreasing. What is that one? Decreasing. So we observe two points here. The mo observing the motion of the ball on an inclined plane. From the top, if you without applying any force, if you leave it, means the speed of the ball increases, it is falling downwards. 
and if you push the ball from the inclined plane from the bottom of the plane to the top of the plane the ball is actually speed has been decreasing and it is moving upwards this is about the motion of the ball on an inclined plane thank you